This is an excerpt from the TV show SpongeBob SquarePants, the Idiot Box episode. SpongeBob and Patrick stand outside in front of Squidward's house awaiting the arrival of the mailman with their package. See anything yet, Patrick? Hold on, I need my glasses. Hmm, it's a mail truck. Our package! I didn't realize it was Happy Hoppy Moron Day. SpongeBob SquarePants? That's me! There Thank you, you! That's a big box. Hey, SpongeBob, when do we stop hopping? 30 more seconds, Patrick! They probably ordered a lifetime supply of bubble soap. A brand new television. Easy, easy. Just when I thought they couldn't get any stupider. Let me get this straight. You two ordered a giant screen television just so you could play in the box? Pretty smart, huh? I thought it wouldn't work. Uh-huh. That's quite a plan there. Oh, wait. There was something else I wanted to ask you two. Now, what was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't you two have any brains? Squidward, we don't need a television. Not as long as we have our imagination. Wow. I never thought of it that way. That's really something. Can I have your TV? With imagination, I can be anything I want. A pirate? Arr. A football player? Hut! A starfish? Patrick, you're already a starfish. See, Squidward? It works. You try. Okay, let's see. I'm imagining myself watching TV. And there it is. Can I have it, SpongeBob? Sure, Squidward. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Squidward, but if you change your mind, we'll be in this box. Let's play mountain climbing adventure. Let's go for it. Squabs, check. Hats, check. Underwear, uh, check. Okay, Patrick, climb up there and secure this rope. You got it. Patrick, 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 you're going too high. I hope they put some air holes in that box. Will you two shut up? Ah! SpongeBob? Hold me. Hang in there, buddy. The chopper's on the way. SpongeBob, my legs are frozen <laughs> solid. You're going to have to cut them off with a saw. No, Patrick, I can't do that. Why not? Because I already cut off my own arms. No! What the? How are you two making no that noise? <laughs> what noise, Goodwin? The only noise I can hear is the sound of our laughter. Yes, but those sound effects, the avalanche, the... the don't forget the second avalanche. Forget it. I don't know why I'm wasting my time out here when I could be watching my brand new television. <gasps> Attention climbers, please hold on. The saws are on the way. Yay! Aha! How are you two doing that? <laughs> First, we establish a base camp at 15,000 feet. The noises. How are you two making the noises? That's easy. All you need is a box. And imagination. Are you trying to say that I have no imagination? I have more imagination in one tentacle than you two have in your whole bodies. That's good. Now all you need is a box. Laugh at me, will they? All right, where is it? Here I am. Which, where's what, Squidward? Don't where's what, Squidward, me. Where's the tape recorder? We don't have a tape recorder, Squidward. Don't. We don't have a tape recorder, Squidward, me. But we don't. We have a tape recorder box. All right, make way, you two. I'm coming in. Welcome aboard, Squidward. You've just set sail on the SS Imagination, where our only destination is a fantastic adventure. Where do you want to go first? No, no, don't mind me. I'm just here to observe. Squidward, don't you see? Waiting and watching, that's not what the box is all about. It's about imagination. All right, fine. Take me to Robot Pirate Island. I want to arm wrestle with cowboys on the moon. Just do it so I can get back and watch TV. Okay, Squidward. Robot, Pi Robot Pirate <laughs> Island it is. Beep, beep, beep. Arr. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Ahoy, matey. Beep, beep. For that, you'll lock the plank. Why won't this thing turn on? All right, fine. If you don't want to show me, I've got better things to do than pace the floor wondering how you two work this thing. 